Tyson Harrison against Kulab Dam. We saw Tyson Harrison do his best work when he goes to war, mm. right? When he's in his element, when the he's not thinking so much, he's just going out there and doing his thing. But we've also seen Tyson Harrison get caught up in the war, just engaging too much and not using the cerebral. Um, Can you knock out the referee? <laughs> yeah, I can, I, I'm not seeing him use that thinking game that I know he's capable yeah. of. I know he has these moments of brilliance, but he just gets caught up in the war. The fans suck him in to this, you know, this toe-to-toe -to -toe battle, and he forgets, you know, his weapons. And I think that's dangerous because Kulab Dam, out of that southpaw stance with that left hand, it's an absolute thunderstick. Mm. And if he hits you with it, man, he'll flatline anybody. So Harrison's got to be careful not getting sucked into that war with Kulab mm. Dam and, and being mindful of his game, utilizing his length. He's going to have a massive reach advantage, has to utilize it, has to keep him at the end of the shots. Kulab Dam has to close the distance, get inside mm. there, drop that left hand. Um, it's going to be an interesting fight to see if Harrison you know, is, is really going to live up to his potential because, man, the dudes fought murderers, Row, Sexon, Pong Siri, now Kulabdam. Mm -hmm. They're giving this kid no easy fights, mm -hmm. really testing him right off the gate.